half Friday press conference. She went on to explain that expenditures has risen by 20.8 billion Polish zlotys. Rzeczkowska also said that GDP growth may be a little over 1% in 2023. We have a chance of achieving 1% and even a little over 1% GDP growth, she said. The regional budget saw GDP growth at 1.7%. Rzeczkowska explained that the amendment is based on conservative forecast by financial institutions. In a spring update to the convergence program, the EU requified financial plan, the government assumed GDP growth in 2023 at the level of 0.9%. The budget amendment also assumes average inflation in 2023 to stand at 12%. Rzeczkowska said, adding that consumer price index inflation is expected to return to single figures by year end, assuming no unforeseen shocks on energy markets or further supply chain disruptions. The annual average inflation assumed on the draft budget amendment is a little higher. We had 9.8%. Now we have 12%. This is the annual average gauge. At the end of this year, everything indicates that it will be in single figures, Rzeczkowska said. Prime Minister Mateusz Morawiecki said the amendment budget provided for additional 14 billion Polish zlotys for local governments.